future of Afghanistan is to be discussed at an international conference in London tomorrow. The country's president, Hamid Karzai, is expected to build on the promises he made in his re-election speech, where he committed to improving the country's security and political situation by tackling problems such as corruption and lack of jobs. He's also expected to talk about reintegrating the Taliban into Afghan society in a move supported and funded by the international community. The commander of NATO troops in Afghanistan spoke about the issue during a meeting with ambassadors in Kabul at the weekend. The average fighter stays locally, he, he's part of that initial harassment, and then he makes a decision. And that decision is either, I'm gonna put the gun away and come back in and just rejoin society. I think a lot of reintegration won't be formal, it'll just be, you'll just notice there are a few of them, fewer of them. So we will stay the course? The Afghan government and the international community are expected to commit to a larger Afghan security force so that by October next year there will be more than 170,000 soldiers in the army and 134,000 police. The London conference is intended to strengthen the relationship between Afghanistan and its donors and to empower the Afghan government to assume greater responsibility for its own security, governance and development. In turn, the international community will renew its commitment to support the Afghan government by staying in the country until the job's done. I am confident we can do this, absolutely confident, and we will do this, I believe. I think by next December, we'll be able to show, with hard numbers and things, real progress. We'll be able to go, look, here's more areas we cover, here's this, this, this. And I think by the summer of 2011, it will be enough progress where the Afghans and the Taliban particularly believe it, believe they're not going to win. Mel Preen in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.